What's up guys? Today I'm doing an unboxing video on the JPT 60 watt MOPA fiber laser from Richard Zhang over at OMG Laser. I will put his information in the description below. So uh, sit back and relax and enjoy this video. All right guys, first things first. I wanna go over some of the things that are in that crate, what comes in the package that I purchased, and then some of the additional items. Uh, 60 watt JPT MOPA M7 laser, that's the unit itself. It comes with the EasyCAD 2 software, so you don't have to purchase that. Uh, three lenses, one, two, and 300 millimeter. You can purchase additional lenses from him, and I will explain uh, what those do in a later video if you don't quite understand yet. Uh, it also comes with a chuck rotary which allows you to uh, place tumblers or other round items or if you have a jig that allows you to rotate um, your objects um, as you're uh, lasering them and once again I'll explain all that stuff in later videos I did purchase a 2d table uh, which is really nice we'll see that a little bit later some of the other things that are in there is he includes uh, protective glasses testing cards and a foot switch um, also DHL shipping is included with the price so um, a lot of people ask how much does each machine cost what's the breakdown well you have to get a hold of Richard and tell him exactly what you're looking to do what type of machine you're looking at buying what the best option for you is and then uh, how much the additional stuff costs he does have a lot of things on his website um, that are additional um, items you can purchase I would recommend you purchase everything at once so he can just ship it in the crate um, kudos for whoever packages these things up because they're very sturdy very easy to move around if you have a forklift or two guys can actually carry this if you're you know if you're strong enough to lift it up uh, I would not recommend you moving this by yourself because it is it is pretty heavy and um, I will show you here uh, the lid super easy this was pretty much taped down and everything's uh, nailed and screwed however to open up the lid you just undo this latch and uh, the lid comes comes open a uh, little smiley face there thanks Richard so <clears throat> um, the laser and all the components are carefully wrapped up inside of this crate and uh, just make sure that this stays upright and you don't tilt it or turn it upside down because you could damage the laser so another thing to mention is if you're using a utility knife which I have one here <clears throat> if you're using a utility knife don't just go stabbing and and scoring and taking very carefully cut this apart because you don't want to scratch up the laser surface that's uh, down underneath everything here or you know, you don't want to put scratches on the outside of the unit. All right, now I got most of the packing cut away and pulled out. You can see how neat everything's packed in there, still foam down there. Now, I would not recommend you pull this out by this head up here. Um, I would recommend you undo the box around it and slide it out. So I'm just using this stainless steel pry bar and I'm prying away these staples here off the side. And then once I get everything apart, I'll remove the laser unit out. Once you pry the side off, it basically just uh, folds down and then you can remove uh, the laser and all the components. There's some boxes in there with stuff. Let's check out what's all in there. Now that everything's out of the crate and on the floor, we have the main power unit, the laser head, and the bed. Um, there's a fairly long uh, cable between the two. I will be putting this on the table next to the unit so the controls are easily accessible there's also three boxes which we're going to open next all right first up is the chuck rotary this is a really heavy heavy duty unit and uh, obviously it's used to rotate uh, items on here as you're lasering them i do have a jig for this already for doing uh, business cards so yeah that's the first item all right, next up is this really well-built 2D table, which allows you to move this top unit in very small increments on the X and Y axis. This is a very well-built, phenomenal piece. Um, so essentially what, what this is for is, um, if you're just using this bed down here and you have pins or screws in here holding your piece, but you need to make very small adjustments or move it um, in, in smaller increments, um, you can accomplish that with this. So essentially, even if you mount something in these, um, you know, in these little holes, you can still make the adjustments in between and uh, by turning this. And then there's also a lock here. These are pretty cool. I'll do a review on most of this stuff and how to set it up. 
All right, next is this 200 millimeter spacer. Uh, I don't have this together completely. It's just kind of sitting there, but this unit here sits at this base and then this gets mounted on top. So this can sit 200 millimeters um, higher. So, and essentially all that does is, is it allows you to, uh, you can use a uh, bigger lens, which needs a higher focus distance. So it spaces this entire head up higher. Um, very, very well built uh, and looks very precisely made. All right, I can already tell this uh, next box is gonna be my favorite. So you have these positioning blocks. Um, I got some extra ones from Richard because I'll be doing a lot of different projects and essentially you can put these in um, on your table here and then they adjust left and right and you can position things on here to hold your items so you don't have to keep um, refocusing or uh, moving stuff around on the bed. So, you know, you got a, something that's square or whatever. Um, you can just set it where you have your lens focused and then just keep putting the pieces in. I really do like these. Once again, very, very nice quality, nicely built. Um, <clears throat> another thing that's in here, he uh, sent along some black business cards. Um, looks like a whole pack of them. I don't know, a hundred or something like that. And uh, that's pretty cool. Thank you for that, sir. Um, check this out. This is funny. Um, looks like a, like a foam stress ball or something. Has absolutely nothing to do with the laser, but so freaking cool. I get excited like a little kid. So I get to play with this. Whee! Next up, we have some uh, safety glasses. Just make sure that you, um, you know, read instructions and understand. Uh, how each pair of glasses that you may purchase can uh, um, help save your vision essentially. This one tells you um, that it can protect at these different wavelengths and what the rating is. It's very important that you wear these, especially with a fiber laser. You don't want to have problems with your eyeballs. Here we've got a, a foot switch. Um, take this out of the box here. This is for the machine. Little baby's foot switch right there. What else do we got? Um, looks like USB cable to hook up a laptop. Here's a really nice laser engraved business card from Richard. So um, if you guys want his info, I'll have it in the uh, description below. And also it's right here. These next two boxes are the extra lenses. So uh, one is already mounted to this head and two of them come in these boxes here. A power cable for the unit. A really nice set of Allen wrenches from SATA. And last but not least, we have the Kingston USB drive. Uh, this does have the uh, EasyCAD 2 software installed on it. So that's the last little piece of the puzzle that we need before we get this puppy up and running. All right, there you have it, guys. Everything's out of the crate. Everything was individually unboxed. I tried to explain as much as I could uh, without hooking it up. Um, so in the next video, I will be explaining how to set everything up, all the uh, software installation and settings so you can get your laser up and running. Thanks again, Richard.